Hey guys, it's Job Wise Jones here coming at you again from my car this time. So, <laughs> Jennifer, you were asking me before about why do you shoot from your car sometimes? Well, because like most people who go on their breaks, I am sitting here on break and shooting a video to my subscribers. So that's why I do this. So, today's video is a little bit more intense. We're going to talk about some reviews of Carrington College and Medical Assistant Program. I am not affiliated with Carrington College. I have nothing to do with them. I, as you guys know, I focus on medical assistant type type things, uh, things that I think are important for those who are going into the field, who are already in the field. So <clears throat> today what I'm going to do, I'm going to read about five or six reviews of Carrington College students and those who experience the Carrington College experience. And I'm just going to read the reviews, but this is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to actually respond to each review and how I see it and how we can fix these things before you guys go into any school. Let's get up to the first, first one, okay? This person gave this school three stars for Carrington. And I'll tell you what she said. This is a terrible school to attend if you are needing financial aid. While my teacher was great, they said nothing about the financial aid department or the payment plan department. She says sometimes things change in the financial situations and they all right now she graduated, but she only has collection letters and no explanation. She says, I would suggest not attending this school. So as I said to you guys in other videos that I have out there already, you have to be careful of financial aid with any kind of school, but with an emphasis on tech schools because their financial aid systems are set up differently. They're set up to benefit the school, not you. You are just a number. Now, am I saying all tech schools are bad because they do this? No. What I am saying, though, you got to be careful out there, you guys. You just got to be careful. You got to see, do they take funding from a public institution uh, like, sorry, like FAFSA, you know, uh, a form like that? Or do they only offer private funding? If so, if they only offer private funding, you have to really look into the small writing on the pages because that's where they get you. Like she said here, the teacher was great. Yes, I'm sure the teacher was great, but the teacher and the financial department are two different entities. And so this person feels burnt. So you have to check out their financial aid processes, of course, how they do it, how they charge you, how much they charge you, things of that nature. Second review, this was the worst experience I had in my life. Awful career, service, and staff. It doesn't matter how good your grades are. You will lose your money. I feel betrayed. I won't go into details. And again, so here we go with the career, service, and staff. Now, she didn't get specific on the career, service, and staff, but here are some of the things about career services you have to understand about these schools any tech school you have to understand that very clearly do you offer career placement if they say yes you say what does that look like saying yes isn't enough for a school to give you the answer yeah we offer career placement no you have to see what that means do they place you where do they place you where can they help to place you do you have students who have been placed and can i talk to them that's a huge one if you get someone who calls you up, okay, I was a student here before, they placed me, I'm working at a great career right now as a medical assistant, that's awesome. But if they can't even tell you who has gone through their school, take their test, pass their test, and got a job through their financial, sorry, through their career placement program, you have a problem. You have to do your homework, you guys. Okay, another one, medical assisting school. She gave it a two stars out of five. She said the school spoon feeds you the answers for the test. This is not good because you don't want to be spoon fed answers. You want to know the answers because when you take that CCMA test, no one's going to be there to hand you the answers. <clears throat> the minute they start spoon feeding you answers, you have to start to be aware of, you know what, Maybe this isn't the school for me because you want the test to challenge you, not to be given to you. That's a huge thing because if they give you the answers, what are you learning? 
And when you get out there in the field, you're really going to have a hard time because all the answers were spoon fed to you. Next review, one star. It looks like Carrington only took my money from students. It's, it was a horrible college. I took the MA program and they refused to let me take the CMA program uh, exam because once I finished a course, I had to pay them a leftover of $17,000. I was shocked by this amount myself because a four-year degree in America costs on average about $9,000 a year. That's on average. So for two years pursuing a BA degree, you will spend about $18,000. This person said for their nine-month program, they spent $17,000. They have a bill now of $17,000. So she spent nine months, 17 grand for a tech school, where you'd have two years AA degree with $1,000 less of the program she paid for. So for two years for an AA degree will cost you $18,000. She spent $17,000 for her program. So again, this goes back one more time, guys, to the financial aid. You have to really check these guys out. I'm not saying all the schools are bad who do this. I'm not even saying carenting is. I'm saying, though, is that you have to look <clears throat> at the fine details <clears throat> as far as how they're taking care of you, right? <clears throat> you have to understand these rules because if you don't understand the rules, that's good for them because you're just another sucker in their classroom taking a seat. Think about that. If you have like 30 students in there, right, all paying 17 grand, that's a lot of money for the school. You have to do your homework, guys. I, I have so many videos about stuff like this. Watch my videos. I can protect you. I can help you get past this stuff. At this point, let's take a little break, okay? These videos take a little bit of my time. And, of course, my love for you guys is always there. But I'm asking you, please, to subscribe. Just don't watch my video, but also subscribe to my videos, please. They're here to help. Give me a comment. Give me a like. Hit the bell for more videos. It's fine. But definitely subscribe to my channel. Let's keep going. Another one star for Carrington here. It says, this is about the externships. It says, our externs from Carrington are nearly paralyzed with fear and lack confidence with tasks such as blood pressure. I was in an externship with another student who came from a community college program. She seemed very confident in her, in her duties as a medical assistant, whereas I and my friend did not feel confident at all. We were very disappointed in the level of education. Okay, here we go again. This is about the externship now. She really feels like she did not get a good deal with her externship. She felt like she didn't learn enough in that nine-month program to compete with a two-year MA. Now, I went through a nine-month program, and I had no problem at all competing with anybody. But, you know, that was my tech school experience. I took it very serious, like most of you guys do. And uh, I got a lot of good education because my teacher was awesome. So you guys got to be careful about that, okay? So, oh, very, very, it can be tricky. But you guys just got to watch my videos, hang out with me. I'll show you how to get past this stuff. I got the answers. I can help you. Last, oh, sorry, second to last one here is another one star. It says, how did they help me find a job? They went to Indeed.com, and it's, they said, good luck. You guys, I have a video about Indeed.com, about all those kind of online uh, job assistance programs. Those are not bad. They really aren't. If you understand the technique that I teach you about that and how to use those to your advantage, I can show you how that works and, and make Indeed, Jobber.com, Monster.com, all those programs work for you. Just as long as you understand, they're not for you. They're not made to make you successful. Those Online platforms only benefit the ones who are paying for those jobs to be sought. In other words, if you're an employer at Joe Schmo's Medical Assisting Academy or whatever, and you want MAs to work there, they put themselves on, uh, uh, on Indeed.com, they're paying a price for that. That's why Indeed.com exists. They don't exist for you, the seeker. They exist for the ones who are paying to find people for their employment. Indeed, it's free for you, but it's not free to be on the platform. People are paying 
to advertise that they want workers to come to them. Let's go back to here again, okay? So she said she did 39 interviews, and she got a job not because of her school, but because she had Walmart experience. So she totally went by the whole <laughs> experience of being an MA to, to, get, to get her job. She says here, the program director and the, and the program assistant director still did not help me. Their career services doesn't even stay on the payroll. They're a whole different department. It says here, too, she felt like she didn't get much for her $15,000 education. Again, we're almost halfway through to a BA degree at fifteen grand, and, and, and again, you're paying a lot of money for nine months. You guys, it's okay to pay, you know, 10, 12, 15 if you're getting a good education. Otherwise, it's not okay. When you go into that first building for any kind of tech school for medical assisting, you're new, you're, you're excited, you see the people in the scrubs and the clean place, everybody seems happy and smiling and joking around. Don't let that stuff intoxicate you. You are there like a detective. You are there to fact find because when you're done with that school, you've got to find that job, right? And you're not going to find it if you don't do your homework. There's a lot of, look, there's even a lot of four-year institutions out there throwing out bogus degrees, fishing, you know, get a BA in fishing, get a BA in, in, in you know, whatever they have out there, okay? Schools are not going to make sure you're going down the right path to get a job that pays you a good living wage. All schools are like that. All schools only care about you sitting your butt down in that seat and they're making money from you. Schools are educational institutions, but they're always a business first. That goes with tech schools too. So she totally got uh, messed over, she feels. It's not a good deal for her. Last one here, this one got four out of five. The reason why was because the MA teacher helped her get a job at her old school using Carrington, though, as her reference. So this one student here got a good deal from, from her teacher who helped her out, who used to uh, work at a clinic. The teacher was her reference and got her a job there at, at, at the school because she went to Carrington. So six bad ones and one good one. Now, I'm going to review other schools, too, for you guys along the way. But all of these problems, all of these issues I cover in my videos, you just have to look through my I have over 80 videos now of these things, and you can see how you can circumvent these kind of problems. These schools, most schools, are set up for suckers who don't do their homework. And what I mean by that is that there are some great programs out there. There really are. But you have to search for these great programs. Look at the financial aid. Look at the job placement. Resume help quality of teacher that teaches you how long the program is how much money you're spending you guys just do your homework okay i'm here for you hit me with the email if you want at jobwisejones at gmail.com i'm right here please subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos and i will help you all right guys jobwise jones take care have a good